All right, hello everybody. I'm um, gonna do a video here on the right way to get these uh, the front panel off of a um, original Xbox. Now this is a 1.6 model. I don't know if there'll be any differences on the other models, but this is what I have. Um, I've seen some videos on doing this, and I, I, I saw several, and uh, none of them are right. The, what I thought was the right way to do this. Um, so I want to kind of show you guys here. Uh, first things first, you do have to get everything out. You don't need to take the fan out, but you do have to take these things off here. Um, I've, I've got all the screws out. Um, if, now, first thing, if you are not comfortable working around things like power supplies, which can have enough voltage, these caps here can have enough voltage to kill you. They don't hold a lot of power, but they hold just enough instantaneous voltage to stop your heart if you mess with them. Um, so, obviously, it's going to have to sit a while. You have to know what you're doing. If you do not know what you're doing with electronics and electrical safety, do not attempt this, okay? Uh, I'm not... You know, don't come crying to me if you get hurt for doing this. This is not, you know, you were warned, okay? Do not do this if you do not know what you're doing. Um, anyway, you got to get all that stuff out. Um, you don't need to take the fan out. You do need to remove these guys here because there's screws on them. Um, they kind of lift upwards like this. I know it's hard to see, but you kind of lift this guy upwards here, and then they just kind of pull out. You just got to be gentle, you know, don't, don't rip them too hard here. You just grab them and you, you kind of lift them up a little and then you pull because they kind of angle in. Um, but that's that's easy enough to do that. Um, so you've got three tabs in here. So you've got a plastic tab here, plastic tab here, plastic tab here. You might think that all you need to do is whip these tabs and you're home free. Wrong. So let's start with the um, side here. So what we're going to do is you'll notice on the side here, let me try to get it as close as I can, a little bevel. i got to lighten the way here. There's this little beveling right here, and it's, you can see, you can kind of, it almost looks like it's angled for a screwdriver. So what I see on videos is guys going down like this and ripping it like this. Do not do that. You do not want to go up and down. Let me show it this way. You do not want to go up and down inside the thing. You want to go sideways right in the center of this thing because there's three vertical tabs inside this thing. So three vertical tabs. And what you're going to do is you're going to pull up on this thing. Now you got to keep your hand inside. Don't grab it along the front, or you're going to hold it closed. You got to just kind of lift this tab, and and I'm going to tilt this down so you can see. You get your screwdriver. So you see, I'm putting it in the side here, and you just give it a tug. Not a hard tug. That's it. See how it just came? See how see how loose that is now? So you got that. The middle one, and voila! It just came off. You you, you snap the middle tab here. And the other end doesn't matter. It's swung free. As long as this little tab is up, you're good. How, how awesome was that? I have seen people sit there and struggle and struggle with these on videos. Now, you don't have to do that. All right. Let's say you're working on your, just like me, I'm working on a power switch problem. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong. I just, I've done a circuit trace on the board. Everything's going exactly where it ought to go. For some reason, though, when I, when I plug it in, it instantly turns on and the CD drive opens up. You have to push the drive to get it closed, and then you can't open it back up again. Um, so I haven't figured that out yet, but yeah. Anyway, if you want to get this circuit board out, watch this. See this little tab down here? I don't know, maybe kind of hard to see on the camera. Let me get a light over here. Oh, much better. Um, you can get this little tab. You're going to push it down gently with a screwdriver. Uh, you know, Don't be like an animal and just rip on it. Um, same with when, you, when I'm, you're pulling on the side here. You saw how little pressure it took me. It, it's just this little angled bevel right here. It is just all you need to do is pull on that and it comes right out. Um, you got to get this thing here and you're going to push this down. And when you do, see how the circuit board just literally sprang forward? That's it. That's all you got to do. You do not have to take the front of this off. I've seen so many people say you need to take this off. Um, I don't think they know what they're doing. So um, that's it. That's pretty simple. If you want to get these buttons out of here, but... Uh, yeah, as far as I can tell, this thing's pushing the buttons. The buttons click. I even I had this out earlier and continuity tested the buttons. Um... Anyway, I won't bore you with that part. Now, let's show you how to get it back together, um, just in case you, you do need to do that. Um, you saw how simple it was to get apart. You get this back in. you got to put these little two, two, two little tabs on here in, and then you push down. Click. Microsoft really thought this part through. I mean, they thought the plastics all the way through. It's just awesome. Um, you got to run this cable back through this hole. Um, they, even, they even put something on the side here to keep the... Um, they got a little little shield on here to keep you from cutting the cable up on any sharp edges. Like I said, they really thought this through. Now you push, and eventually the middle will come through, and then you got the uh, the upper 
and lower part. Now this is this is kind of funny. Um, don't Donkey Kong this thing and smash it. You're going to want to hit it with your fist, but not super hard. You just go like this. Well, make sure it's lined up first. I don't think I'm lined up. Um, and then you go like this. That's it. Bang. Not hard. Don't don't punch it. Don't slam it. You just kind of bang it a little. That's it. You heard it click. That's these guys slamming home. And the one in the middle usually clicks in on its own here. But uh, usually I do that one first. And uh, that's it. You notice I broke no plastic. And I wasn't sitting here cursing and sweating and sweating up a storm doing this. That is it. That is that simple. And just to show you again, I will take it. I need to take it back off because I got to figure out this stupid button problem. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead again. Reach down in here, get the screwdriver angled in. Let me turn this so you guys can see. Oh, come on. There we go. Get your hand down in there. Don't again. Don't grab it like this because you're gonna hold it closed. You just want to grab it from in here. There's little areas you can put your thumbs on. This is why you have to get everything out because otherwise you got stuff in the way. You got the power supply which could shock you. You just even if it's not plugged in, you just gotta be wary of those things. You get the screwdriver in there and you give it a bit of a tug. You see it coming. You get the middle and. Okay, it looks like it's still, it is holding on the other side this time. I'm not sure why it popped off so easy the last time. So I might have made a liar out of me. That's why I did this a second time. I'm going to grab it here. And, oh, there we go. I just had to get that loose. All I had to do was loosen that came right off. And there you go. And you can easily get in here, dust, clean up, um, get any spilled soda out of there, stuff like that. You know what gamers are like. And, uh, hey, there we go. So... Just have fun, be careful, make sure you know what you're doing, especially around that power supply. It is not inside a case or anything. It is raw components hanging out that can zap you. So make sure you know what you're doing. But once you once you get it off, when, or once you know this little trick here, it's so simple to open. I uh, hope that helps, and uh, thank you for watching.